Now, I'm joined here in the studio by Samantha Bell and Catherine Harrison, both from the U University of Manchester. And I understand that you've brought to the Summer Science Exhibition the story of the Winchcombe meteorite. Tell me more. I do. So here is a sample of the Winchcombe meteorite. So you're very welcome to hold it. Thank you. Um, so the Winchcombe oh. meteorite fell in February 2021. Um, and we're really lucky that this is one of the most pristine samples that we have, one of the most pristine uh, meteorites, because it was collected within 12 hours of it falling on the Earth's surface, which is super special for us. Um, so this meteorite is full of uh, water and organic material, so it means it came from a kind of asteroid that might have brought water and organics to Earth, so it's really important for us to study so we can figure out kind of how the Earth has formed in this kind of way. Wow. Yeah. So a rock like this that fell to Earth from space, mm -hmm. Millions, billions of years ago? It would have formed uh, 4.6 billion years ago. Got, yeah, okay. So it's got some things in it that's like the oldest thing you'll ever hold in your hand. Wow, but oh it my goodness. It fell to Earth about a year and a half ago. It fell to Earth a year and a half ago, but yes. something like this could have been the rock that came and brought life and water to Earth yes. when it originated. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's <laughs> really mind boggling. So, why do we want to study rocks like this now? Well, because it's four point six billion years yeah. old on earth um we don't tend to it's rarer to get rocks that old on earth that are sort of preserving that far back because we've got things like erosion plate tectonics recycling the crust so these provide like snapshots into the very early solar system that we're just not otherwise able to to investigate so yeah they're really important and this meteorite landed here in the UK, which was pretty lucky as well. <laughs> yeah, so it's the first um, meteorite to fall in the UK for about 30 years. Wow. So it's really, really special. Um, and the biggest reason that we, we knew that it had fallen is because of, uh, we've got a meteor, meteor camera network in the UK. Um, so we've got cameras across the UK that are constantly looking up at the sky, really? ready to track um, the fireballs. So when meteor, meteors come through the atmosphere, they start to burn up and produce a fireball, similar to like a shooting star. Yeah. Um, and if it's big enough, a bit of it will land on the surface of the Earth. So uh, what we can do is we can use a trajectory of the fireball to work out where the meteorite was going to fall. Um, ah, clever. So we had people that figured out it was most likely going to be uh, in the Winchcombe area, yeah. so near, uh, near Cheltenham. So some of my colleagues went on the news and said, if anyone can find anything, like a suspicious black rock, really? please get in touch with us. <laughs> and then we're very lucky that um, Rob and Catherine Wilcock heard this on the news and then they woke up the next morning and on the driveway there was a massive splat of black rock and it was a meteorite and it landed on their driveway oh um, so they got in touch with us and we rushed over and then we found loads of meteorite which is just amazing. Yeah and what happens next then so you find this meteorite how do you actually study it? Uh, so <laughs> downstairs we've actually got um, a scanning electron microscope which is one of the techniques that uh, we'll commonly use to sort of identify different minerals within the meteorites, um, but essentially, yeah, that will get cut up into different sections and distributed to several different uh, universities and institutions uh, around the UK are involved in sort of classifying the, the meteorite as the sort of initial steps. And then I'm sure there's lots of interest in science that's yeah. going to be coming in the next few years out of this sample. Mm -hmm. So it's not finders keepers. <laughs> 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 no, so um, Rob and Catherine Wilcox, they donated everything yeah. that they, they found to the museum, which was amazing. Yes. yes, really amazing for the scientists to then study it. Amazing. And tell me about this sample that you're so holding. So yeah, we also brought a bit of a bigger one. Um, so this is an iron meteorite. Ooh, oh, it's heavy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's nearly pure iron. It's got a, a very small amount of nickel in it. Um, and these iron meteorites come from the cores of asteroids. Um, mm -hmm. So just like the Earth's got a, a solid metal core, if an asteroid gets big enough, it can separate out and get us, all the denser iron will sink in towards the middle and form this core. And then oh. if there's been a collision with between two asteroids, it reaches right into the core, bits of that core get flung off and uh, yeah, some intersect and land on the Earth and we've got a big chunk of one here. Amazing. So this must have been a big chunky one that landed. Yeah, so some of them can be like you know, 20 plus tonnes wow, of material. Wow, you don't want that landing on your house, yeah, do you? No, no. And there's something really interesting here. I'm a material scientist, so I'm nerding out right now because there's some really interesting sort of patterns that are formed um, in the metal of this meteorite. If I remember rightly, these are quite unique, aren't they, to yeah, me so you have meteoric to have iron? Like really um, high pressures to form these sort of, uh, I think it's Vindman statin mm. pattern. That's right, mm, yeah. yes, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's quite diagnostic of, of these sure. iron meteorites mm. and, and where they originated from. So if you did find this in your garden, you could 
take a slice and look for this and that would tell you that it was meteoric iron. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So people at home might be asking themselves, you know, we can study these rocks to, you know, find out what they're made out of um, and sort of think about where they might have come from. What can this tell us about our solar system? So as I say, specifically with sort of um, meteorites like the, the Winchcombe meteorite, yeah. they're, they're telling us about sort of the first stages of our solar system, like how planets were forming, where the sort of molecules that would eventually um, potentially have brought life to the Earth and, and things like that, where they were um, in the early solar system and what was happening way before even, we, you know, we were recording any of that on, in yeah. rocks on Earth. So, yeah, yeah a, a unique sort of snapshot into the yeah, Earth, very early solar system. Exactly, what happened and kind of where we came from. So you've been here at the Royal Society Summer Exhibition experiencing it, talking to members of the public. What have they had to say about this? Uh, so they're really, really interested. Um, I think it's such a unique thing being able to see something that's come from space. Um, and it, obviously because it fell in the UK, it's really captured a lot of people's imagination. Um, and also we've got such a range of meteorites on display as well. Um, I think, yeah, people are pretty amazed that they can hold something that's 4.6 billion years old and uh, that's come from space and fell in the UK kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of scientists work on this then? Um, so I, I guess a lot of us are geologists, mm -hmm. yep. but um, there's also lots of, of chemists and physicists as well with mm -hmm. different backgrounds coming together yeah. to look at these meteorites. Um, but yeah, I think we're both a geology perspective. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and what are you hoping to kind of do next? What's next for you guys? Uh, so I guess um, one of the, the biggest things that we're really hoping to do is get more um, camera cameras out across yeah. the UK. So the more fireballs that we can track, the more meteorites we can hopefully find. Yeah. Um, so I think that's really helped having the Winchcombe meteorite fall has made, um, it's really let the public know that meteorites are findable. Um, so, and uh, also people can um, send in their own videos, so like doorbell cameras and cameras in uh, cars. Um, people can submit all their videos of, of fireballs and we can use all that information to, to work out um, oh. lots of interesting yeah. science from it. So. And how many fireballs are there in the UK every year? Is this a rare occurrence? Um, so there's, there's like shooting stars all the time. Yeah, so I yeah. think we expect um, a meteorite to fall in the UK about once every year, I think. Sure, a big enough one that a would land one that and, and be something you could study. So yeah, yeah. Um, there was a meteorite that potentially fell in Shrewsbury a couple of months ago. So we all went out hunting. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything. Um, yeah, so we're, we're on track for about one every year, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's really exciting proof for the Winchcombe that it, like, it does work, mm -hmm. that Definitely. you know, we can track yes. these things and go mm -hmm. out and yeah. retrieve them. Fantastic. Oh, thank you so much for talking to me today and good luck with thank everything. Thank you. Samantha Bell and Catherine Harrison from the University of Manchester.